have returned. I wish to speak with you. Then dealing with Kemono is not my field of expertise. A hammer, a chisel, those I know how to use. But a sword, I have never even held one in earnest. You have done us a great service yet again in finding and saving the carpenters. Seden has been tirelessly expressing her gratitude. And I believe she has more to say shortly. So, we may now count the renowned carpenters of the capital among the workforce of our town. We must make good use of these fine laborers to bolster our defenses against Kemono and develop the town. You should consult with Seden for your own needs too. I expect your hunting endeavors may benefit from her expertise. Sorry I didn't introduce myself properly before. I'm Seren Fahusa Jiburir of the Tsuruhashi clan from the capital. But that's a mouthful. So just call me that. As Togahima said, I'll be acting as master carpenter and managing the bulk of construction work here in Minato from now on. I still owe you for saving us on the way here. So if you ever need anything, Come to the lodge and let me know. That will be all for now. I am sure you have much to do. Oi! Is this thing working? Can you hear me, Chief? I've, uh... Well... I've got a favor to ask. Ah... That sounds like Ujishige. I have not seen your face for some time. Are you in good health? Uh... You're with the Himesama. Um, yes, Himesama. I am in good health. Just, uh, uh, very busy on account of my never light purse. Save your excuses. You can explain in person the next time you attend me. As for your purse, I can offer no assistance. Please, go to Ujishige now. The old samurai does not ask for help lightly. It must be a thorny problem. I shall continue to do what I can to help the citizens of the town. Oi! Over here! Ah, you came. I had no idea you were with the Himesama. These damn Karakuri are sometimes more trouble than they're worth. <sighs> At least she sounded well. If a little displeased with yours truly. Are you in a hurry or something? I want you to take a good look at me first. Notice anything different? No, no, no. The gourd, of course. Look, it's bone dry. Not even a drop of sake left. And almost as bad. My pockets are equally empty. So you... Probably know what I'm about to ask already, huh? Of course not! I'm perfectly capable of earning my own coin and filling my own gourd. But it's too dangerous for my liking outside town. So I need an escort. Come on, help me out. Who else can I ask? I have to get over to the spirit aisle and collect some materials. I'll cut you in. You know that. Don't you want to aid a poor old veteran? You'll do it. That's what I like to hear. Yosh, no time like the present. Let's go. Ever come across a bottomless sucky gourd? No? Huh. If I had an ounce of gold to my name, I wouldn't have to work like this.
Right. Let's get this done and dust it quickly. Oh, Nanda. What's going on? Am I seeing things or is the sea frozen? Huh. We'd better investigate, but don't get too close, just in case. Something's definitely not right. There's ice all over the place. What's going on? Is this more camel trouble? This is crazy. It's like being up on a mountain. Surely it's not. No, it can't be. What was that? Could it be what's causing all this? Forget the materials. We need to find out what that thing was. Boy, come on, we're going after the Kimono.
sorry. I lost it. You took it down, did you? Impressive as always, Chief. Uh, let's get back to town. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, you're back. Uh, right. Do you have time? I owe you an apology for doing my own thing back there. I just couldn't afford to let the Rasetsu get away. <clears throat> the Deathstalker and I have quite a history. What I want to know is what it's doing on the island. Its territory should be a long way northwest from here. Around Otsuki Castle, Governor Ishido's old stronghold. Not that anyone calls it by the name anymore. Not now it's surrounded by snow. You hear it called Fuyufusagi Fort now. Hmm. Ah, it's too much for my brain. How about paying the sensei a visit? Your timing. The Southern Ocean is as rough. You want to know what's still to do? Here's the list. All right then. Let's catch up again soon. with you two. You both look very great. Well, uh, it's a long story, but... What a fascinating development! Arasetsu has covered the Summery Spirit Isle in ice, you say? Oh, yes. This warrants a detailed investigation. <clears throat> it's quite an unusual phenomenon, indeed. You would never normally expect ice kimono to appear somewhere with such a disparate climate to their usual habitat. Maybe not, but that's what's happened. It looks like hell's frozen over there. Quite literally. Kimono are like humans. They avoid inhospitable areas. They naturally accumulate in areas that are favorable to their existence. Now, imagine the prevailing climate on the Spirit Isle. Would you expect an ice and snow kimono to choose such a sultry location? At the very least, wouldn't it be drawn to the more moderate temperatures along the Harugasumi Way? This Death Stalker is powerful enough not to care. You remember Otsuki Castle, the seat of Governor Ishido, don't you, Sensei? It was magnificent. Blossoming flowers all around, life everywhere. Now they call it the Frozen Fort. True. It's a shadow of its former self these days. The kimono brought blizzards and ice to the whole area. Hmm. I think there's a correlation between the failing of Minato's Karakuri years ago and the increasingly violent kimono activity since across Azuma. The fate of the Great Bear may be relevant too. I hear the area where it once slumbered happily is now a barren wasteland. The natural environment in these parts would appear to be undergoing some sort of rapid transformation. That sounds... plausible. Or not. I'm no scientist. So... what's our move, Sensei? Well, we can't afford some protracted observation of kimono behavior now. No, we need to focus on this wolf. If my hypothesis is correct, 
I'd expect to see a physiological change in its gut. In any part of its body that absorbs celestial thread, in fact. Right. So I guess it comes down to you again. Looks like the only way. I don't know how much we'll learn, but I do know we can't afford to ignore the threat it poses to Minato. So you bring it down, and the Sensei will do her thing. That's the plan. Uh, there is one problem we need to address first. The Kimono's primary habitat is around Fuyufsegi Fort. But I hear the cavern that leads there collapsed during the Earthbreaker's advance. So, we'll need to clear the way before we can proceed. See if Ren and her crew can help with that. That should come from you. She owed you a favor or two, doesn't she? You're not getting away without helping, Mujishige. You know the way to the old castle better than anyone. You can be on guide duty. Uh, well, I'm not really feeling it at the moment, so you'll have to make your way alone. I need some space. The Tsuruhashi clan have a good name. They won't shun at that. I haven't been properly introduced yet, though. You'd better be the one to ask. Sirensan and Herc, stronger and sharper. That's what you're looking for, I imagine. Metal work is so... <laughs> oh, you need the path through the cavern cleared. Sure, we could take care of that. But we'll need some help from you. At least find out what I'm asking first. Actually, Togahime made the same request. She said it wasn't urgent, but asked us to tackle it if we had time. We've made some progress already, but at nightfall, there was a fume beak attack. Some of my crew came off worse for wear. I was just about to report we couldn't continue work when you came along. So if you can get rid of the Great Crow, we can get rid of the obstruction. Deal? We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Was there anything else? We'll get on to that at once. <laughs> 